welcome back to the channel this is your boy the program geek and in today's video we're gonna be teaching you how to design a roof in less than 10 minutes so let's not waste too much time and let's just get right into it so the first thing that you want to do is obviously open up a drone from the architect like the one that we have on the screen and then the first thing that you want obviously want to do is clean up your drone so to save time what i already did is i copied it to the side and then i cleaned it out and by cleaning the drone what we mean is just basically remove everything from this drone that is all the furniture dimensions and all the unnecessary single brick walls and just remain with the load bearing walls and your beams so the other thing that you want to remember is you want to make sure that the structural frame you represent it in a green line whether it's dashed or continuous as i have shown this is just the load bearing walls and the beams as these are the ones that support the roof and then represent your roof lines in blue which is dashed as well and then represent the overhang of the roof in a nice yellow color and just remember the overhang is just off is just created by offsetting your outer walls by 600 uh, it's usually 500 or 600 but it just depends so now that we have already done this and we have it on the screen the next thing we let's just get into the main business of the day which is actually designing the roof so what we have on the screen is we don't have a simple roof we have a complicated roof with two extensions but we're just going to simplify it first so that we deal with the main box first so to create the main box what we're going to do is we're just going to come up with a line then we go to the section and when we create a gitter bim and just represent this in a double line or a triple line and make sure that you represent it in red as well so as you can see we have created the main box as you can see on the screen by following my cursor and then just to get a better picture of this main box we're just going to extend the part of this broken hip all the way to the overhang and then to the overhang and then we're just going to break it up so that it's in two clear distinct parts and all right as you can see on the screen and then the broken part of that hip you just want to make sure it's in a nice cool color and it's dashed let's just make it pink for now so as you can see if this we didn't have this two extension this would be the normal hip and valley roof that we would have it's actually a hip roof that we would have without any valleys so the next thing that you want to do is now add your trusses and to do that just go to the main region then go to the apex which is the point where your hip lines intersect with your ridge line and just draw a line all the way to the overhang or the wall plate wall plate and then what you want to do is just represent this line in red and also make sure that it is double lined because double lines are good for you and red represents any members that are under a lot of stress then the next thing after creating the main apex truss just go to the inner part of your wall on the first hip and then offset it by 1500 towards your apex truss that you created in the first step and then after doing that just make sure you extend this all the way to the overhang and then just delete the line that you drew and what you've done essentially by creating this line is you've created the main truncated gitter truss of this hip and of this roof so proceed to represent this in a double line and also make sure that it is represented in red after doing that you have now your main apex truss and your main truncated gitter truss go to the center line of the roof and there you want to draw from our wall plate to wall plate in this case this is where the wall plate ends because we have an extension and make sure that you represent this in a white line and what you've done is you've created the main reach truss for this roof after doing that select that line and then offset it by 750 towards the main apex truss as i am doing right now so just do that until you have more or less of a good gap between these two let's just let's just check this gap it's it usually needs to be 750 but even if it's less it's better because it just means our roof is going to be stronger in this case it's 600 360 so the next step that you want to do is make sure that all these lines you make them sign and just go to home clear that make them sign and what you've just basically done in this step is you've created the main ridge trusses which will take care of the ridge of the main box after doing this you want to go back to the apex truss then offset the first line by 750 as well towards the main truncated truss as i am doing right now on the screen and you have more or less of a 750 gap between the last truss and the main truncated gated truss in this case uh 735 so we're good to go it's actually less than 750 so we'll just delete that and also the other thing you want to do is represent these in a double line so let's just do that as well just do that uh, make sure that it's a 750 and then the other thing to differentiate them from the main ridge trusses make the trusses make sure that they are inside as well and they're double lined 
so after doing this the next step that you want to do is close out the main box of this hip and in this place we're just placing the jack rafters to do that first go to the apex and then create a line all the way to the main truncated and then continue another segment all the way to the overhang then represent the non-flying part of that jack rafter and sign with the continuous color and then um the flying part you're going to just color 11 and then you're going to make it dashed so let's just choose dash 2 and we get to go so after doing this the next thing that you want to do is offset these lines to one side that you like in this case i'm going to go top of the screen and offset them by 750 again this is because our roof is going to be housing concrete tiles and they're pretty heavy so 750 is a good number and then just repeat that step for the flying part as well so let's just do that as quickly as possible and those are the lines that you need after offsetting these lines the next thing is select the line then select trim and start trimming them off by this hip line so as we are doing right now this is going to be good this is good this is good all right we're good so after doing this now go to these two trusses that terminate before the main truncated truss and do not have flying counterparts and mirror them about that hip line so after selecting them go to the hip line and then just mirror them about that hip line so that they have perpendicular mirror images on the other side after doing this you want to take care of this other side and instead of just repeating all the process that we did since it's symmetrical select everything as we are doing on the screen right now i'm selecting everything right now and let's just mirror that about the main jack that we put in the first step in this case there we go and there we are done in this case you have just taken care of the first hip end of your roof of the main box now due to symmetry of the main box if this main box if this was a simple hip roof you know what we were going to do to take care of this other side due to the symmetry we're just going to select everything uh, that is after the center truss that means all your ridge trusses all your truncated trusses the main and the non-main and then all your jack rafters so just select everything don't be lazy select everything and just nitty gritty so that you pick this then you pick this one as well since it's a bit hidden and then select everything this is the boring part but select everything once you do that you need to mirror this about the center line and there you go there you mirror them so click yes you want to copy so there you go what you've essentially done is you've closed out the main box and the next step that you want to do is trim out everything that goes beyond the get beam as i'm doing now on the screen so select trim select thing and then start trimming these lines the necessary lines you don't need this you don't need this you don't need this and you definitely don't need this as well and also here you don't need this extension to go that way because it's not going to be necessary so it's going to be going there and yes goes all the way like this now the next thing that you want to do is uh close out take care of these two extensions so the first thing that you want to do because we have successfully closed out the main box to take care of these first two extensions um take care of the ridge lines so to take care of that just create a line don't worry if it goes or extends beyond the hip and the valley this is the broken hip and the valley just create that then you also want to offset this by 750 as we have done once that is done go to the hip and the valley select this two and then trim off these two lines about the hip the broken hip and that valley and since these are going to be flying trusses because these two extensions will be definitely higher than the other roof these are going to be flying trusses just make sure that color is as a proper extension due to symmetry you don't have to repeat the step all you have to do is just copy and paste so copy that and then you go to this other side and there you go you've successfully taken care of the ridges of these extensions now the next step that you want to do is close out these two extensions just do the same procedure that we did on the first hip end which is this end and then just come there create your flying pot and then the non-flying pot make sure the color is as appropriate and there we go and there we go next thing you already know what we're gonna do repeat the step offset by 750 to the side to the side to the side and then trim them off about the hips trim them off trim them off trim them off and then mirror these guys about that hip and there we go and then trim off the necessary parts all right and then once that is done and once that is done mirror these guys over 
to okay let me see let me just mirror this no sorry about that let's just mirror this over to the other side to the symmetry so let's mirror that and all right we good to go so this is great we've taken care of the first extension and now we need to take care of the not the next extension and due to symmetry this is as simple as copying and pasting so all you have to do is just take this this line as well this line this line this line and the flying little guy so there's the little flying guy just copy that and check this we are good to go so there you have it ladies and gents we have successfully designed and drawn the roof structural frame for our roof in less than okay not really less than but just 10 minutes top so i'll say in less than 12 minutes this is definitely might be the title of the video so we've just basically designed a roof in less than 10 12 minutes and there you have it thank you for tuning in if you like the video please subscribe share like it and just click on the notifications button so that you get my videos as soon as they drop so this is one of our roof series videos where we just do a lot of talking and the d delivery is different from the other tutorials but thank you very much for tuning in until next time i'll definitely get you out the program geek is out thank you